Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about the top five cards to buy from Iconic Masters. And Iconic Masters, people are really making fun of Masters 25, but the value, the box value is still 170, 160. Iconic Masters the has suffered from a very bad imaging problem. And in fact, the cards in it individually, also as expected value, are higher higher than masters 25 so iconic masters the booster box itself should be worth slightly more yes there's jace and one of them and there's only managing in the other but they're mythic so the impact is not as high as something like afer vial for instance so that aside i think iconic masters should not be at 130 right now which it is uh, 130 140 with dave at dave and adams it's under 120 with discounts so i know i think it's like 124 with discounts no sale though and free stuff so these are the five single cards that i in iconic masters i would buy into right now i don't expect these cards to be to uh this price forever they are very quality cards. The The set itself was very terrible. Uh, when your Chase Mythic is only $50 or $60, I mean, that's very embarrassing, right? You have one card that's $60, and that's it. So Afer Vial is $28. It's still under $30. It sees play in Death and Taxes in Legacy. It sees play in Death and Taxes in Modern. It's also very good in Humans deck. So there you go. I mean, what else do you want from a card? <laughs> it, it sees play in every format. It can see play. And it's hard to come by. No, People don't really like to trade Aether Vials. It's also a Merfolks. It's in some Fringe Legacy decks as well. All right, this one is more of a shot in the dark. Archangel, this was one of my original speculations that I hit very... When it first came out, I said it would be very good. And people didn't believe me. Turn out to be very good. It does have an infinite combo and with one of those, it's like a caterpillar. I'm forgetting what it was. There was a bunch of them in the Stronghold Tempest and that type of block. It's like a Lich, a Leech, but they give you plus one, plus one counters. Uh, regardless, you can go infinite life with this. Now, it costs five, so that's a lot. Uh, typically, a combo deck is not going to really need want two creatures and one of them costing five but it is a alternative in that type of deck i think it's very good uh the artwork is fantastic the card itself is extremely powerful in ed8 and should should a modern deck emerge uh, that wants to play this a little bit more and the problem is everything is so fast nowadays the human deck will kill you by turn five and, and turn five assumes that all you had was five land and you were either drawing into land or you had the land to begin with. And you also you had your combo piece. So there's a lot of problems with a turn five combo that's not in blue. Uh, so you don't have, you know, Splinter Twin, you have card selection. So you can kind of set things up. Regardless, it is a Mythic Angel. It has only been reprinted once. And I think it's very unique. Um, it has a lot of EDH potential, and as a foil, I would be very happy to pick these up for under $25. It just strikes me as something that you want to have copies of. All right, Mana Drain is under $55 right now. It is the most expensive card in this set, and it's also a mythic. And you ask what happened, why is Iconic Master so bad when the rares are on par if not better than your rares on masters 25 it comes down to this card when this is the chase card and this is the only card over 50 dollars right now you're in trouble um, you're in trouble when you're expecting people to pay 240 dollars for a box that being said you have to isolate single card value with box value i'm not advising you to go out and buy boxes you should not be doing that for any box, pretty much. I'm just saying that, hey, this is interesting. Um, this card has fallen 
quite a bit. And the Legend version is following too, so you can pick up that one for slightly a little bit more if you like the older edition of it. I think it's undervalued. I, I don't... I look at it, I look at the power level. It is a counter spell that allows you to play something very big next turn if you want to. If you're in Simic, I can't imagine too many things that you want to be doing more in EDH than using this mana drain. And I think when supply runs out in the future, the far future, people will realize exactly how powerful this card is. It's not Mana Vault, it's not Power 9, but it's a strictly better counterspell. And counterspell, by the way, is one of the most powerful cards in Magic. It's so powerful that we have Cancel now, so instead of costing 2, it costs 3 in Standard. But in Modern, you, you do have Mana Leak and stuff, and they sometimes see a tiny bit of play. Power level, this is it. Um, I don't think they're going to reprint the card anytime soon, given the mistake that was made in terms of... It was a bad mistake, I'm not going to lie. You cannot have a set where the only the most valuable card is the Mythic for $55, and everything else is under that. that that's just not going to work. All right, Glimpse. Uh, this used to be a $20 card. I remember no one wanting to trade these away. The majority of Magic players are super casual, and this is what they like. Like, this is the definition of a card casual players would trade. Now, casual players have changed in time. They're much, much smarter now, and they all have smartphones, obviously, than they used to be. So it used to be you could trade them a really cool card and get back uh, more value than you should get back. Now, it's about even. That being said, this is the real deal. Like, there's some... The mana drains kind of like you don't want too many copies of it because it's only really EDH. The Archangel is a gamble. It, uh, it is just a gamble. The Aether Vial is steady. It's solid. And this is more solid than Aether Vial. Uh, price buy-in is very good. I like the lower buy-in. So the Aether Vial like, is 24 25 I mean, what do you want it to be? Like, you want it to be $50 and then it gets like an auto reprint. But even if it hit $50, you're not really making that much. This card, I could see going back to 20 and that would be a triple, which is you're always going to make money when a card triples up in price. Uh, that's like, I've never lost money. So I think this is a better entry point. I feel like getting eight copies of this is very good. Casual players, and you can always get rid of the card. There's always going to be demand for it. Um, most players that you're FNM are, M are casual, and they're going to be like, wow, mill 10, crate. Mill is something that's very good for casual players. All right, so like I said with Falia, like I said in my previous video, I don't know which video is going up. I like 2 to 4, because 2 to 4 can get to 10 to 20. 20 cannot get to 80. It's just not possible. But 2 can go to 20. Like, uh, what's that land? That, that uncommon land that was 50 cents in a human deck and now it's like 10 bucks? I own a million of those from Conflux and also from the Sliver deck, which had two foil ones, I believe. Maybe it had more. Maybe like I only had two foils because I lost some of them. They were so... They, they were so bad or so not valuable at the time that i don't even remember like if i lost them i probably just threw them out one day and now they're 10 bucks so well luckily i have a lot of them it's like that conflux tempo this card has been reprinted many many times and it has just been hit over and over and get over again but my gosh it's a good card um its power level is very defined it reminds me a lot of falia where it's a unique card with unique abilities that has that is just looking for that deck. Um, it's just looking for the deck. Reprints aside, this used to be a $10 card. This used to have a lot of legs on it. It has an infinite combo in modern. Uh, what You need that blue card from Zendikar, that blue enchantment, and you go infinite with it quite easily. I love it. I love it. Um, this is something I could see getting... Again, you don't want to go too crazy, but for me, I could see myself holding a lot of copies of this card 
and being very happy when it goes to $10. Uh, if it goes from three dollars to ten dollars, even with shipping, with PayPal, with eBay, with all these fees, you're still good because it tripled. It tripled. But when Lily goes from ninety to a hundred, or uh, let's say Lily goes from eighty to a hundred, which is really, really good. That's a twenty dollar increase on eighty dollars. That's twenty five percent increase. That's fantastic, right? Well, guess what? PayPal takes what eight percent, or what? PayPal and eBay take let's say a total of or TCG player, some combination uh, is going to take about 10% off the top and now you're down to 90 and now you just ship it with material and bubbler and tracking and all this stuff and that's maybe $6 depending on, you know, it's a valuable card so you got to make sure it gets to the right place and now you made $4 but then you got to calculate your, your time. So you didn't make any money. Anyway, bye guys.